Okay, so you have Final Fantasy XII Zelda job system. There's just one thing time problem. You suck at reading Japanese and you want to play it in English. So how do you do that? Well, thanks to FF Gripper, there's now a way. You need five things to get started. Very important. First, you need English copy of the game, Japanese copy of the game, the Zelda job system. You have to, you, you have, to have these two, all right? You need swap magic. It's a lot easier to do with swap magic. Because, uh, so you need these to play, um, to play uh, backups in Japanese imported games. Next you need, you need a PlayStation 2 with a flip top. See that? Okay, there we go. Flip top. Uh, it's a lot easier if you, do with, if you do with a flip top. And last, but definitely not least, you need a, um, you need a computer that has a CD burner. But most laptops have them anyway, so okay. Alright, so you got that? English copy, Japanese copy, Swap Magic, Flip Top on your PS2, and you need a CD burner. You have to have those things. Alright? So, you got all that? Good. Let's move to the next step. Okay, the next thing you need to do is download a program called DVD Decryptor. Let me show you what it looks like. See it right there? Okay, this is DVD, DVD Decryptor, or how you pronounce it. Uh, you can you can Yahoo it, Google it. It's really easy to find. All right. Okay, you want to take your English copy and your international copy, and you want to use. Uh, oh damn, I closed it out. Okay. Open it back up. Uh, you can't see it too good, can you? Uh, there we go. Now then, when you go to DVD. Decrypt door. All right. Go to mode. Go to ISO. See that? First, you want to select read. All right. And you get this screen right here. All right. Now you want to click this button down here. Well, you, well, you might want to um, choose the um, destination so you can, so you know where it is. Okay. I already know where mine's going. So, and you want to just click this and. It'll start copying um, the, the, the exact game over to your laptop or computer, whatever you're using. Uh, the time it takes depends on how fast your computer is. I have an Intel, so mine's pretty fast, all right? Since I already did this, I can go ahead and skip it, all right? After you copy uh, both the English version and the Japanese version, you want to make absolutely sure that they are both in the same, in, in the same uh, folder, all right? And they have to be named exactly like this. Both of them have to be named like this, okay? Now then, what you want to do next is, you want to go to um, that website that has the patches. Uh, this is my YouTube page. Alright, uh, you can download version 19 on, on the first topic, but I'm currently having issues with the 19. Uh, I don't have any problems with uh, version 17. I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna try uh, version 18. Uh, version 18 is uh, somewhere here in the um, somewhere here in the topics. Or maybe you can find it. I forgot where it is, but you'll find it. I think 17 is still there too. Okay. All right. After you do that, the patches look like this. Here's version 17. Here's 18, here's 19, but like I said, I'm, I'm having issues with 19, so I'm going to try version 18 instead. Uh, maybe 19 is work for some of you, but it's not working for me right now, so I'm going to try 18. What you want to do is um, use uh, WinZip, because WinZip is free and it's really easy to use. You get a folder that looks like this. Okay, this is what's inside the folder. Alright. Now you want to go back out. Take your English and your Japanese um, ISO. And you want to move it to that same folder. We just put this, um, this English patch. Real easy. Okay. So after you're done with that, your folder should look like this. Got it? 
Okay. Now you double click this right here. This is what's gonna make it into a um, English game. You double click that. Run it. And now you just simply wait until it's done. This might take a long time, all right? All right, so what it's doing is, it's taking the, the English version and the Japanese version and it's, and it's making this. It's making this right here. All right, so this is gonna take a while. All right, so you might wanna like, you know, grab a bag of popcorn or go watch a movie or something because this is gonna take about 10, 20 minutes, all right? All right, and it's finished. Here's our game right here. There it is. All right. After you get that, you want to reopen um, DVD Decryptor. All right. Now, here comes a very important part. Take your blank. DVD ROM, it, it has to be it has to be a, a blank one. You know, it can't be like used by some missile because it has to be a blank DVD ROM. About four or five uh, gigabytes big. Come on now, get out the damn get out the case. Okay, thank you. Alright. This thing's a uh, it's a it's a 16 speed, so alright. Insert it in. All right, go to mode, ISO, and select right. Okay. Since mine's a 16 speed, I'm gonna change it to eight. You wanna try to record at, at, at half the speed that the CD's in, all right? Go to source. Go to your patch, all right? The one, the one that we just made, all right? That's what we just made. Select open. All right, go down to the bottom and click ready. And now, you just simply wait. So go grab another bag of popcorn. This might take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how fast your computer is. All right, we'll be back. Yes, I'm a Pokemon fan. All right, you see this? It says 100%, but it's not finished yet. See this right here? It's putting the final touches on the disc. Do not close it until it's completely finished. Otherwise, you will screw it up and you don't want to do that because these CDs are not free. It will let you know when it's done. Now it's done, all right? Close it. All right, let's check it out. My computer. There we go. There's our game. Final Fantasy 12. All right, let's check it out. Let's see how well that baby works. Alright, when you get to this screen, carefully take it out so you don't lose the screen here. Insert your new game, just a DVD ROM here. Carefully, don't mess up the lens. Start it up.
sometimes it sometimes it, it'll take a while depending on how, how well your lens work on your PS2. And there you go. There's our game. Remember that this is version 18. I believe uh, version 19 has everything completely translated. But it's still very easy to, you know, everything else is fine. Like all the items, all the weapons, everything else is perfectly fine. See that? So there you have it. That's how you make English version of Final Fantasy XII Zelda Job Systems. Any questions, any problems, ask FF Griffin. He's the one who made it. Alright, I'll see you guys later.